All right, y'all, tonight we're going to blacken up some grunt. Um, it's still frozen, but we're gonna pull it out here. As you can see, we put a lot of fish in the, in the freezer the other day. We did that because the weather's so crappy this month and so much going on, we can't get back out there and get any more. Normally I don't freeze very much, but when you can't go fishing, you still gotta eat fish. Get that thawed out. It'll only take a couple seconds for you guys, but we'll be back in a few hours. All right, y'all, fish is thawed. Didn't take nearly as long as I thought. Let's get to cooking. Got everything laid out. It's an extremely simple recipe I'm throwing together. We're gonna blacken it. Um, I do like to fry it as well, but found out the other night how good it is blackened, so we're gonna go ahead and do it that way again. It's a lot easier, and cooking for two, so it's not a, not a high volume deal. If it were, I would definitely fry it. Got my stuff laid out. Got some extra light tasting olive oil. I prefer that. It lets the taste of the fish come through a little bit more. Um, some people really like a stronger flavored olive oil, which is fine. And the best seasoning in the world. Turned on to that by Robert Arrington from Deer Meat for Dinner. It's Everglades Heat and Everglades Fish and Chicken. Um, I do also use the Everglades original sometimes, so I'll lay that out as well. Got a couple measuring cups, that's mostly for the rice. Good sharp knife um, and some utensils. Small pan, with, small pot with a lid for the rice and a deep cast iron skillet. And that's all we need. So let's crack into this. All right, now that we've got the, um, the fillets finished up, we're gonna go ahead and throw some oil in the pan. I like a light tasting olive oil but that's to preference. I like to put the uh, stove top on medium high, maybe a little bit closer to medium. And I like to put about an eighth of an inch of oil on the bottom of the pan. Maybe a little less, but definitely a full, you know, a, a little bit of oil coating the entire bottom of the pan, not just a, not just smeared on, but enough that it levels off and sits in the full pan. We're not done with this yet. All right, y'all, we're about to fill the rice pot here with some water. I am well aware that there is going to be someone out there that is just mortified by the way that I'm cooking this. So this is how I do it. If you've got a better way, feel free to drop a comment. Um, but I like the way it tastes, so. So we start with a cup and a half of water in the rice pot. Throw that on, throw the lid on. Here shortly we'll get that water rolling, but let's jump into prepping the fillets for the pan. I've got the pan heating up over there. So again, there's probably a better way to do this. In fact, I know there's a better way to do this, but I'm too lazy to decant the oil. So we're gonna go ahead and just try not to pour the whole bottle out here, just a little bit on each fillet. I'm not sure if you can even see the oil pouring because I'm trying to pour a very small stream of it. But basically what we want to end up with is these pieces of fish. There we go. I figured that would happen by the end of this. Well, I think we saved it. We want to end up with these pieces of fish essentially painted with a light coat of olive oil. And that's what we got this way. Sorry, it's good. That's pretty good there. That's pretty good. That's gonna get that glossy shine on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Got them all laid out like that. Now we're gonna come in with our seasonings. Now what I like to use for blackening, we're gonna put the Everglades original back because I don't like to use that when blackening. I like to start off with the heat. And I'm not a spicy food person, so we'll put it on the little small hole setting. And just lightly dust, very lightly dust each one of these fillets with the heat. Right. Flip over. Flip over. 
Since we already have a bunch on there, we're going to keep it on the small hole setting. But we'll be a little bit more liberal with the uh, fish and chicken here. And there we go. Nicely seasoned, ready to go in the pan. All right, you guys, rice water's boiling. That's what I like to use, jasmine rice. I don't care what brand. I buy Publix because I shop at Publix and it's the cheapest one there. So a cup and a half of water, one cup of rice. We gotta try and do this quick because that won't be a cup and a half of water for long if we leave it boiling. That's close enough to a cup. What I like to do, you do need to throw the rice in on top of boiling water. So I'll turn it to low first. Drop the rice in to stop the boil. And that's why we've got a fork handy. Stir the rice in. Make a mess. Lid goes back on. And we'll time that for 15 minutes. There we go. We're cooking rice. It's the butter I really like, the Kerrigold's Pure Irish Butter. It is awesome. Don't use margarine. Butter is better. So I'm going to use the last of that stick, which is not nearly enough. Yeah, that pan temperature is perfect. Well, actually, might turn it down just a touch, but that's pretty good. And then I'm going to cut off, yeah, we'll call it about that much. You might notice I don't really use any measurements. We just kind of kind of go off the way it looks. There we go. All right, guys. In goes the first fillet, and that is the perfect sizzle. Got to get that sizzle, but you don't want it to like you don't want it so hot that it's like explosive when you drop it in. But that slow. Sizzle that ramps up as it, as you lower it in. That's what you want. I think that's what I want at least. I'll just throw four, uh, three pieces in there now. I like less in the pan at a time. That way I can monitor it a little bit better. And we'll do the other two pieces when those are done. All right, guys, we got a couple fillets in the pan, and they're a cooking. Like I said, just a couple minutes is all it needs. Maybe two minutes, and eh, maybe not even, maybe a minute and a half, and then a flip and a minute and a half. These are really small fillets, so it doesn't take much. And we'll watch them close here so we know we don't burn them. We got nine minutes left on the rice. And our timing is looking perfect. All right, let's get back to this fish. That's done, and that is done perfectly. But and that one's just the same, yep. That one's also done and done perfectly. These, I'm sure, are about ready for a flip. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. That's not burn right there, that's called caramelization. That's what we want. That one might have gone a little long, but it's close. We'll take it. So, whereas this piece here is a little overdone, it's not nearly as overdone as it looks in the camera, because. I don't have the best lighting in here, so it looks black. I'll pop it open so you can see. But it is still very flaky white, but if you notice, it kind of doesn't come apart as well because it's too well cooked. But I bet it still tastes absolutely delicious. Mmm. Nope. That's going back on the plate. I don't care how it looks. That's amazing. That's what we're looking for. That's absolutely 100% perfect. 
Let us do just a second for the other side. We'll pull her off there. We've got two minutes left on the rice. Like I said, not bad timing. That's a plate of delicious fish. I know it looks dark, but that's because my lighting is very dark, so maybe that's a little bit better. Very crispy on the edges, but very soft. Very soft. Absolutely gonna be killer. And we're gonna mix that up with some rice. And make an amazing dish. All right, you guys, dinner's done. And it looks really actually a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, came out great. Uh, I even mixed in a little bit of uh, the vegetables, which you know, I'm not a huge fan of, but in the name of health, I'll, uh, I'll pretend like we can eat it. There you go. There's our fish. Without an excuse for a salad, this drowned in ranch dressing and a delicious bed of rice. Don't forget to drink. Let's get into this thing. This is gonna be this gonna be quite the treat here. Right. Gonna start with a piece of fish. Oh, that looks so good. I mean, just look at it. Anytime you can break the fish open. Get a little bit of a shine on the white meat. I mean, look how white and shiny that that is. Just so good. I mean, how good does that look? You can tell how good that tastes just by looking at it. I guarantee you that's delicious. Scoop of rice with it. Let's get into it. That does not disappoint. I'm ashamed that I haven't blackened grunt more in the past. I've always saved it for a fish fry. Never again. Never again. Blackening is so quick and so easy. I mean, I bet this whole meal didn't take me much longer to make than this video is going to be. I'm shooting for 10 minutes. And, uh, and it's delicious. And I dare say it impressed my wife, too. She'll eat anything, though, so... There it is. Have a good night, y'all. Thanks for coming along.